Hey, the woman of words is back. That is right. You are seeing this correctly. Foreign by is back with brand new episodes, um, brand new motivation, brand new topics, brand new stories, brand new reviews. Foreign by is back to be a brand new show for you. But we'll keep all your old favorites <laughs> and um, just work on improving. And I do want to acknowledge the fact that it has been quite the hiatus for me. And a big part of that was life happening. Um, and unfortunately, life happened to cause me to lose my voice. And it's a tough thing to lose your voice and to not really know what it is that you have to offer to people. You know, and I, I definitely struggled with that for quite a while. But I am happy to say that my voice has found me and as always I'm just going to continue to speak from my heart. We will discuss topics on this show that are of interest to you because as you know this show is for the people by the people. So leave comments, send emails and let it be known what it is that's on your mind and what it is that you want to talk about because this show is all about you. You can send emails to Ella at EllaLacy.com or you can leave comments on the video. You can also visit the website EllaLacy.com. There's Facebook, there's Twitter, there's so many ways to reach out so make sure you do it. And getting right to it, we're going to review a movie today called Super 8 and I want to preface by saying that I don't like scary movies. And I didn't want to see Super 8. Car. Elle Fanning can be downright creepy at times. And to say the ads were vague is an understatement. By the time I went to see it, I had pretty much created a movie of the experience in my own mind. I mean, I saw myself squirming, blocking my eyes, agitated and stressed because of my emotional state. And that's the danger of shadowy advertising. It creates too much opportunity for the viewer to create his or her own story and subsequently tends to ruin any possibility of an open-minded audience. Such was the case with Super 8. J.J. Abrams directed, so I knew to expect quality craftsmanship. Abrams is a tried and true leader of the sci-fi genre and is at home in a story about aliens and humans finding a way to accept one another. <laughs> Unfortunately, and fortunately for my poor nerves, I went into the movie expecting Alien and got E.T. Both were great films, but when was the last time you sat down to watch E.T. and said, Alien would be a good substitute? You can't remember, can you? I know. Why, you ask? Because it never happened. But even though the movie wasn't what I expected, it was very, very good. The writing wasn't exactly groundbreaking, but there was great dialogue. Um, the brightest spot of the film is the young group of friends. Their dialogue is snappy, their friendship is genuine, and their performances are full of depth. The group of friends definitely seem to step off the screen of another movie about a, about a group of boys going on an adventure of growing up. A little classic I like to call Stand By Me. <laughs> Remarkably, two of the key actors in this young ensemble were first-timers. Joel McCartney as the lead character Joe Lamb and Riley Griffiths as his temperamental and foul-mouthed best friend Charles gave performances that were understated and perfectly angst-ridden, respectively. They really looked like veterans up there, and I wouldn't be surprised to see much more of them. And about a third of the way into the film, my light bulb went off and I realized... Oh yeah, Steven Spielberg produced this movie. So it turns out that it was really my fault for having the wrong idea about the movie in the first place. The good thing for you is that I have taken the mystery out of it and I'm still recommending that you check it out. It's a great family film, almost as good as E.T. and Stand By Me. Um, the alien in this movie isn't nearly as lovable as E.T. and the boys don't have nearly as much time on their hands as my friends I'm sorry, the guys in Stand By Me, as they are too busy making a movie of their own, keeping a major army alien teacher with a gun secret from their families, and saving the lives of a beautiful young woman and a few tagalongs who aren't beautiful young women and really don't matter. Um, do yourself a favor and check it out. You'll love it. Or at least you'll really like it.
now that you know what to expect. <laughs> so I hope that you will take, oh my God, <laughs> bugs up! Um, I hope you'll take my words to heart. I hope you'll go check it out. And I hope that you will tune in this Monday for a brand new episode of Form By featuring everything that you've missed from me, your host, Ella Lacey. I'll talk to you soon. Don't forget, leave comments, send emails, and do whatever you can to get in touch with me and let me know what you want to see because we are back. Toodles! <laughs>